Hi, in this video, I'm showing you how to install Motion Monkey on your Steam Deck. So I've plugged the mouse and keyboard and an external monitor to the Steam Deck. I've rebooted in desktop mode, and now I'm opening Firefox on the desktop. You want to type omega.gg here, and you get to the home page of Omega. So we click on Motion Monkey. So Motion Monkey is essentially a semantic player. You could consider a semantic player as the sequel of VLC Media Player or a complementary proposition. The VLC Media Player, which I'm part of the team, by the way, is essentially a player that plays everything on your computer, whatever computer that might be. It could be a smartphone or anything. And so it's built to play everything you throw at it, any file, any medium, whatever. The Motion Monkey is a semantic player, so it's not built with input files in mind, but it's built with queries, text, and language in mind, meaning that the principal input you got is a search bar, you type what you want, and then you get the content. You could consider Motion Monkey as a player for the internet age, if you want. So here, we want to click on Get Motion Monkey and uh, Download, and we'll get redirected, at least on Linux, we'll get redirected to each I.O. website. So I'm hosting Motion Monkey on each I.O. because I got uh, kicked, kicked off uh, the Steam platform. I actually proposed Valve to host the application directly to the Steam platform, but it was uh, rejected because it doesn't necessarily fit the, the spirit of the platform. So I'm on each. And what we want to do here is instead of downloading binaries each time there's an update, we want to use the each I.O. application to keep it up to date. So I'll do that. You go to each.io and you click download app. So the app will be downloaded. Ah, yeah, you click Start Download, and then the download should start. There we go. Next, you want to open the folder here, where it's at, and double click on the setup. I've already downloaded it previously, so I'll use the, the binary I've downloaded before. You want to click on Execute here, and it will start installing. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's uh, it's safe. Don't be afraid of it. You just have to register quickly, and then you connect to it just like any gaming client, really. And so I'm going to log in, and then here I'm going to, to search for Motion Monkey. Here it is. Click there. Let me expand that window here. Scroll down, and then I can download it. So I can name a price if I feel like uh, participating to it. And then I'll be ready to download this. So I already have it in my library. It's there. So what you want to do is essentially download it and then click on it. It will open the page and you click on Launch. So now Motion Monkey is running in desktop mode. But what we want to do really is actually run this in the Steam native environment, Steam Deck native environment. So you do it like that. You click on the cog here and you click Manage. And then you click Show in File Manager, right? You go to USR here, click on Bin and find Motion Monkey. Right click and you click Add to Steam. Then you go to Steam, and just like that, the application should be added to your account. Here, I'm not going to be able to show you because I have actually an aggressive proxy that's, that blocks Steam, but you get the idea. Once you're done there, you actually complete on desktop side of things. So what you want to do is return to gaming mode. So we'll do that and wait for the the, the, the Steam Deck to switch mode here. OK, so now we are on the Steam Deck Launcher here. So I'm going to select uh, Motion Monkey. And before running it, what I want to do is go to Option there. So I'll go to Option, and I'll go to Properties. OK, so here I've got Launch Options. So the second part here is not important yet. I'll explain about that in a subsequent video. It's actually a trick to connect to Tvolution, but that's not the subject today. What you want to add is dash dash deck here, the option dash dash deck. 
This option will tell Motion Monkey that it should run in Steam Deck mode and getting rid of unnecessary controls and components and applying the proper scaling to the application. So we'll get there and we'll run the application. So now the application is running. So here it's fairly big. Okay, so what I will do here is essentially disconnect now the Steam Deck and set it free. And now I'll be running Motion Monkey on the Steam Deck. So as you can see, the application is now fully is running. It's fully optimized. You have the proper scaling here. Here you have the recent video I've been watching in the glorious grid view. It's working fairly well. And I can search whatever I feel here. So for instance, I could search for a live stream here. I could type something like Dota 2 if I want. Here it is. Let's go. And then I'll be able to find the current game in progress and just stream it to the Steam Deck. While I'm doing so, I can scroll towards other things. Here's a live chill wave playlist. That's pretty cool. You can play that. View the related tracks here. Let me switch to a TikTok video here. I can change the option, the quality, uh, playback, autoplay. You can navigate the related tracks for the TikTok backend. I have a cinema backend here. So essentially, if I type, uh, If I type movies here, I'm able to find many movies in relation to the movie I've, I've typed. And once, I, once I'm happy, I can open a movie. I can see the, the related movies here. There's a bunch of them. And once I'm happy with something, I could just play it. 